lesson is from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 9. And it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And then 1 Peter 3.10 says, He who would love that life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. I was in here last week, but I heard a report about the events of last week. And I was thinking of what scripture may be appropriate. And the scripture came to mind, but not only for the current season that we're in, but I, I know that the elections are coming up. And I was thinking that it is so important for us to recognize that God has called upon us to be peacemakers. And in every situation, we I know that the election season sometimes is an acrimonious season, and there are many emotions and, and different perspectives and so on. But in everything, we should always pursue peace. We should always be peacemakers. Peacemakers have a special reward and a special category, according to what Jesus said in the Beatitudes. And so I encourage all members of this house to remember this going forward as we head into, uh, I don't know anything about the date of the elections, but they obviously the season is in the air and it's a great opportunity to show the country excellent leadership on both sides and to show proper decorum. So I want to encourage you today to be peacemakers. You know, I'm a former basketball player and when you go to play a game, you play hard, you play to win, but at the end of the day, you shake hands in good sportsmanship. And the political arena is no different. The Bahamas is a small place. We all related in one way or the other. And at the end of the day, we are competing on ideas. We are competing on our respective track records. And those things should be the things that come to the forefront. And in the process, we be good sportsmen so to speak, and make sure that we have the right attitude. I know that's difficult sometimes in a hotly contested race. However, wherever there are peacemakers, there are good results. Amen? Let's bow our heads together. Father God, we just thank you for bringing us here once again. So we thank you that the business of the people of the Bahamas is important. We pray for your guidance, your direction, your wisdom as we proceed today. And as we proceed, may everything be done decently and in order. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, our Lord, be thy name. Our Lord, be thy name.
When is Anna Martin? 5124, Chapter 2. Good morning, honorable members. Honorable members, I'm pleased to report that uh, in a discussion with the honorable member for Kalani, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, along with the honorable member for Sudden Shores, the leader of government business in the House, acting, and the speaker, this morning, all issues relating to any disagreements have been resolved. Introduction and swearing in of new members. Laying of documents by ministers. The chair recognizes the honorable member for Kelani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think I beg leave to lay on the table for how the public call it. Emergency, emergency powers COVID-19 pandemic risk management number four, <laughs> amendment number 12, order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents for a minute. I beg leave lay on the table to the public forum. Value added tax, charitable and non profit rules 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by minister. None, Mr. Speaker. Thank Mr. you. Speaker, while I'm on my feet, I want to say that we, that we wish to proceed uh, by the order of the day, which is to lay a bill for first reading, um, withdraw a bill, the insurance amendment bill with the consent of the opposition and the independent and replace it with a second bill and to return here on the end of state for a second reading for middle and passing. Uh, honorable member for Pardon Shores, uh, are you suggesting then that we do not proceed according to um, rule 31, 39 one We just proceed with the order that you just laid out yes, and that has been agreed? Yes, <laughs> Thank you. We chair recognizes honorable member for sudden jurors. We do ask those to return yeah, to yeah. tabling of documents in this been handed. Uh, okay. Uh, Leave of the opposite. Uh, laying of documents by ministers. <coughs> chair recognizes honorable member for Kalani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The CIBA agreed to learn tables out. The central bank ten dollar silver food coin out of both pirates order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Honorable member for Southern Shores, um, I'm, I'm guided by your order of the day. Can you indicate? 
further, the further, the further documents to delay. Oh, further, oh, further laying of documents yeah. by ministers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg you to run table about the public for the Central Bank ten dollar Cook Point Long Island Regatta Order twenty twenty one. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document to lie on the table. Further laying of documents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg you to lay on the table for the copy of the following. The Central Bank $10 silver coup point. Long Island Dean's Blue Hole Order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Quaida, laying up documents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> I beg leave lay on the table for the copy of the The Central Bank $10 silver proof point. Andres own fish order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Quaida, laying up documents. Because the guy bag needs to lay on the table for the copy of the The central bank $10 silver food point. Barry of Southern Ireland with farmers ordered 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents. Thank you. I should recognize this honorable. Member for Southern Shores with respect to the order of the day. We will now proceed to lay for first reading and then withdraw the assurance amendment up and replace it with an uh, First reading of bill. Chair recognizes the honorable member for Kelani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've had consultation with the leader of opposition and the independent member of Parliament who has agreed that we can withdraw. The Insurance Amendment Bill 2021, Bill Act Amendment Insurance Act, um, short title being the, the Act which amends the Insurance Act, which is as as the Insurance Amendment Act 2021. And that is to be replaced, Mr. Speaker, by a Bill for an Act to amend the Insurance Act. Um, can we have a motion to that effect? The chair recognizes the honorable member for Southern Shores. I so move. Hon honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the bill, let's see if I could find the number. Bill number 178. Number 178. 178. Bill okay. number 178 be withdrawn and replaced by the new bill, uh, a bill for an act to amend the Insurance Act uh, 2021. As many members are in favor, to remain seated. Those who oppose will stand. The bill, number 176 on the agenda. 178 on the agenda is hereby withdrawn and replaced by Bill for an act to amend the Insurance Act. Order that the new bills do lie on the table. Mm -hmm. First reading of bills. First reading of bills, we need to read the first long title of that bill. We get back, we've introduced another read for the first time a copy of the following bill for Knox to amend the insurance act. Second, <coughs> honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the following bill be read for the first time. A bill for an act to amend the insurance act. As many members that are in favor remain seated, those who oppose will stand. 
Order that the bill be read for the first time. A bill for an act to amend the insurance act. For the first reading of bill. Chair sure recognizes honorable member for Kalani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave to introduce and have read for the first time a copy of the following a bill for an act to amend the Securities Industry Act. Second. You have, the, you have a copy of that? Hon Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the following bill be read for the first time. A bill for an act to amend the Securities Industry Act. As many members that are in favor will remain seated, those who oppose will stand. Order that the bill be read for the first time. A bill for an act to amend the Securities Industry Act. Further, first reading of bill. Honorable Member for Sergeant George, you can Speaker, proceed. Um, I move that the business of the House adjourn and we return on Wednesday, the 5th of May, 2021 at 10 a.m. The chair recognizes the honorable member for Angleston on, on the motion. Anticipating that he would go through the agenda as it's indicated, which is appropriate. Yes. Yes. I, I withdraw the motion. Okay, honorable member, we'll, we'll proceed from second reading on the agenda. Second reading and committal of bills. Committee of the whole house. Third reading and passing of bills. Consideration of Senate amendments. Resolutions. Members statements. Appointment of select committees. Instruction to select committees. Discharge of select committees. Notices for future meetings. Uh, the chair recognizes the honorable member for Angleston. Thank you, Speaker. Um, I would wish to give notice, sorry, the notice of the following questions to be asked. Will the honorable prime minister advise whether license or permission has been given to any person or entity for the exploration of sunken treasure within the territorial waters of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas? If so, Will the Honorable Prime Minister disclose to the Bahamian people the identity of that person and or entity? If such permission or license has been given in respect of our sovereign patrimony, will the Honorable Prime Minister advise whether such person or entity is a financial contributor to the free national movement? If such permission or license has been given, Will the Honorable Prime Minister advise the qualification of such person or entity to warrant issuance of such permission or license, if in fact given? If such permission or license has been given, will the Honorable Prime Minister advise the terms and conditions upon, upon which such permission or license has been given, and whether it includes land or sea, or land and sea? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Member. <coughs> Order that the question will lie on the table. Honorable, Honorable Members, The chair recognizes the honorable member for Southern Shores. I thought the honorable member for Henderson would be new notices in the name of the opposition. I was waiting for that. Honorable member for Henderson. Uh, notices for the opposition. Oh, sorry. The chair recognizes sorry, the honorable member for Henderson. Speaker, my apologies. Yes, the opposition would like to renew all notices in its name. 
Thank you, Honorable Member. Chair, sure, recognize this Honorable Member for Southern Shore. Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the House adjourns to 10 a.m. 5th of May 2021. As many members that are in favor will remain seated, those who oppose will stand. Final adjournment. Second. Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that this the House adjourns to the 5th of May at 10 a.m. 2021. As many members that are in favor will remain seated, those who oppose will stand. The House stands adjourned to 10 a.m. Wednesday, the 5th of May, 2021. All right.